Uh, so hello, um, hello everyone. So come back again. And in the, in this video, I will discuss the frequency divider by by a fraction number. I already explained the um, odd integer and even integer. Okay. So in this part, I will make the two by three affine circuit. This is the important. Okay. Uh, as a placement. So here I will discuss uh, firstly a step. What are the step involved that? So you should follow this step. Okay. This is the very easy process. So a step one. In a step one, so we can write like that: one uh, divided by uh, three by two into a pin. If, if, if I reverse, uh, if I reverse it, it is same two by three a pin. Okay, so it is equal to one by one point five into a pin. Okay, so now now we need to choose those integer number means a smallest integer integer number so that. This uh, number it will convert into the the integer. Okay, here we need to choose choose the uh, smallest integer number. So if I choose one, if if, if I multiply one point five with one, it is same. But if I multiply two, then it will convert the three. Okay, now in a step two, in a step two, we need to design a by three circuit because of that. This is the three. This is the integer number. A smallest integer number I need to convert first. Okay, so uh, here I need to design firstly f by three circuit with 50% duty cycle. So in the previous uh, lecture, if you are following properly my playlist of the uh, the frequency divided circuit, then I believe that definitely uh, you should have an idea how to design f by three circuit with 50% duty cycle. So here I am writing directly f by three with 50% duty cycle. So means fifty percent means on time and off time should be same. Okay, on time and off time should be. Just, I am naming the Q. Okay, so for one and half clock it will be off means logic zero, and one and half clock it will be logic one. Okay, so uh, this is the so one and half clock. Okay, so it is uh, so C so so logic zero for one and half clock and logic one for One and a half clock, okay, and it will repeat like that, okay. It will repeat like that, okay, na, okay. Sorry. Uh, so this is the thing. So a by three circuit with fifty percent duty cycle, no issue. So again we'll again we'll draw like that. Uh, here you can see. This is the thing. And one one and a half clock, and it will be again logic one like that. Okay. Now in a step three, in a step three, this output Q. In a step three, this output Q will fed into the negative H trigger D flip flop. Negative H trigger D flip flop. I already explained the negative H trigger D flip flop provide the half 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 clock cycle delay. Okay, half clock cycle delay. So in a step three, this output I am fedding. Into the negative edge trigger D flip flop, or it will provide the half clock cycle, a half clock cycle delay like that. So here I am uh, half clock cycle delay. Okay, this thing. Okay, this is the half clock, half clock cycle delay. Okay, and and this I am telling this is the Q two, no issue. Now, now in a step four, in a step four Q and Q two, this is the very simple. In a step four, uh, um, we need to perform Q XOR with Q XOR with Q two. Uh, you know already operation of the XOR operation one zero and one one. If any one of one, then output will be one. Otherwise zero. This is also zero. Okay. So now here I am performing the uh, XOR operation. So this is the zero complete zero, and uh, this is the uh, this is zero and this is also zero. But in this, but in this section this is zero and this is one. So up to that this is the zero and after that this will be one. Okay, then again it will be zero, and again it will be logic one. Then again. It is zero, zero, and then one. Okay, then again zero. Okay, so here we can see. So here I will check the the time period. Okay, so uh, uh, here 
Eso. So this is the T out is equal to the 1.5 into T in here, here you can see. So T out means this is the one time period, this thing. So this is the one time period and, and this is the half. So 1.5 into T in. So here I can write like that F out is equal to F out is equal to F in divided by 1.5 yeah 2 by 3 into F in it is F. Okay. So this is the circuit F, uh, 2 by 3 F in. Here I am making the circuit. So here uh, this is the mode 3 counter means F by 3 with 50% duty cycle. Okay. So if interviewer ask like that design the F by 3 circuit with 50% duty cycle then you can design. Okay, no problem. That here I am using directly because of I already explained this thing in the previous part. So mode F by 3 with 50% duty cycle. Then this output I will fade into the negative edge trigger D flip flop. That is a D Q and this output I am telling Q. No problem. Here the okay. And now we will perform the XOR operation. This thing I am telling the Q2. Okay. Like that, the XOR of so the symbol of the XOR gate is like that. Okay, so this is the 2 by 3 affine circuit. Duty cycle you can also discuss, no problem. So, this is the complete circuit of the 2 by 3, um, the 2 by 3 affine circuit. Here, I am explaining again the step. So, in the step, you need to write like that. Okay, and and convert into the int, uh, the fraction number, and after that, we need to change. Uh, a smallest integer number so that it will convert into the integer so if i choose 2 uh, multiply 1.5 it, it is it will be 3 okay so firstly we need to design in a step 2 f by 3 with 50 percent duty cycle 50 percent means on time and off time same so here on time and off time is same then in a step 3 in a step 3 uh, this output will fade into the negative edge trigger d flip flop and it will give the half clock cycle then in a step 4 we will perform the here XOR operation. Here we will perform the XOR operation of Q and Q2. Okay. And here I can see this is the time period. T out is equal to 1.5 into T. So F out F in is divided by 1.5. We can write like that 2 by 3 into F in. So the complete circuit. So this is the circuit of 2 by 3 F in. See. See one, see one thing also I am telling like that. Instead of the negative edge trigger D flip flop, you can also use the flip flop work at both the edge. Flip flop work at both the edge. Okay, no problem. But here I am here in this uh, I am um, I use the negative edge trigger D flip flop. Okay, so because the flip flop work at both the edge, now also provide the half clock cycle delay. Okay, so this thing I can also use. Okay, if you interviewer ask, then you can tell like that. No problem okay so i hope uh, so this lecture is very useful for you and uh, in the next part i will discuss one more uh, also question of the uh, frequency multiplier circuit okay thank you